Hey fellow music fans, welcome back to Psychology of Rock. If you're new here, my name's Nina, and today I'm answering the questions, why do people gravitate to different styles of music, and where do our musical preferences come from? Now in a recent video, we talked about the link between personality and musical taste, which is definitely a factor in why we like what we like, but it is not the only factor. So today we're going to talk about all the different ways that our musical preference can be shaped, and also the connection between our identity and our musical preference. Now I use several studies to make today's video as well as some of the writings by Dr. Nolan Gasser. He is a musician and a musicologist who has studied this topic in great detail. I definitely recommend looking him up. So I will go ahead and list all these resources in the description box below just in case you become inspired to dive in even deeper. And I think some of these factors are somewhat obvious but I think others may actually surprise you. So let's go Go ahead and get straight into it. Now we already know that personality traits and characteristics directly influence musical taste, but what else plays a role in determining if we're going to like heavy metal over country or pop music over punk? Well, for one, we don't exist in a bubble and therefore our environment, our upbringing, our culture, our social relationships, and our experiences are also going to play a significant role. Our culture and surroundings affect not only our musical preferences, but also what songs and artists we are exposed to. And this plays a huge part in music preference because we'll end up really liking the music we're exposed to because we form positive associations with the environment we grew up in or us really disliking this music because we've formed negative associations. But generally speaking, research shows that people do tend to be drawn to the music that they are the most familiar with. Now that is not always the case, but it can be a big factor. The subcultures that we're a part of also play a huge role because there will be different types of music that are associated with these subcultures that we gain access to and therefore these types of music become meaningful to us because we are a part of that group. So clearly social identity has a huge influence over our musical preferences but as we get older our musical taste plays a significant role in us forging our own individual identities. We can also be drawn to certain styles of music because of what it says to and about us, because there are certain traits and characteristics that are usually associated with the different musical genres. When we are using music as a defining factor, we are making a statement either about who we are as a person or who we aspire to be. And sometimes without even realizing it, we can be almost categorizing ourselves by how we want to be perceived. Studies also indicate that we can be drawn to music because it stands for something that we believe in or that we relate to. So for example, country music is linked to holding traditional values a lot of times and punk music is often linked to the concept of rebellion. And I know this kind of overlaps with personality factors, but I do think it crosses over into self-expression and even our own sense of morality. And whatever music does become our musical preference during adolescence and young adulthood usually later becomes our comfort music because it gets tied into all our memories of growing up, which for many people is a happy and exciting time in their life that they like to mentally revisit. Songs and artists can certainly be tied to certain places or people, and sometimes when we just hear a song, we can be instantly transported back in time. These songs become like an old friend to us, and nostalgia will keep us coming back to the same songs and artists that we liked when we were younger even when we move on musically. Research also indicates that age and gender can play somewhat of a role. Some studies show that females tend to have a stronger emotional response to music, which can influence musical taste. And not surprisingly, younger people tend to like heavier and faster music, whereas older people tend to like slower and more relaxing music. But of course, this really isn't a rule, especially in cases where someone older had already linked them themselves to heavier or faster music in their youth. Nostalgia does tend to trump age, even though our musical taste can change throughout the lifespan as we are exposed to new surroundings, new experiences, and of course, new music. And just the fact that our musical preferences tend to influence other aspects of our life, such as how we dress, the other media we consume, and even the people we choose to have as friends, shows how significantly 
music is tied to our identity. But just because we have musical genre preferences does not mean that we can't or don't enjoy listening to other types of music, especially when our favorite musical genre does not match our current mood. Our emotions and our mood strongly influences whatever type of music we choose to listen to in any given moment. So even if our favorite musical genre tends to be happy ska music, if we're feeling really angry, chances are we're going to find music that matches that mood instead. So with all of that being said, I would love to hear what your musical genre preferences are and what you think played the biggest role in why you like what you like. Please let me know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I would absolutely love it if you stayed connected. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you next week.